Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to receive Monero. So let's jump right into it. The first step here is to copy and paste the address and you're gonna have to access your My Monero wallet to do this. And we're gonna have to copy and paste that public address from that wallet. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like but you're gonna have to access this wallet, this web wallet, which is mymonero.com, and it is a secure website. If you have not yet created an account yet, go ahead and check out my previous tutorials on how to do that for Monero. But what I'm gonna do is click login here on the top right and enter that private login key. So again, we get this key from our password manager. Go ahead and access your password manager on our team, we use keypass.info and we also use dashlane.com. And dashlane here gives you free 50 passwords. So go ahead and get your password from there and enter it into here. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. As soon as you do that, it gives you the address right here. And we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste that. And that's how you do step number one here. Step two is to send that public address to the account sending you Monero. So the way you send the address is either through a private email service or through a private messenger. On our team, we use Tutanota, and that looks like this. This is a encrypted mailbox, which you could get for free. And I highly advise getting this one and using this for all your accounts related to cryptocurrencies. So go ahead and email them. However, in the email, you're gonna ask for a small test transaction first. So send them the address and then also say, send me a test transaction first and then send me the rest. The transaction should be around $5. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like on the sender side by sending it to myself. So what I'm gonna have to do is again, copy and paste this address and log out of here. And what I'm gonna do is log in into my second account. So that's the way I'm gonna send it to myself. You can create multiple accounts, that's totally fine and recommended actually. So go ahead and access your second account now. And now that I'm inside of here, you'll see that I have a balance of 0.96. What I'm gonna do is click send and I'm going to get my address from my first account which is this and I'm going to go ahead and choose a test transaction so a good test transaction for Monero at the moment would be 0 0.02 which is about two and a half dollars and I'm going to go ahead and skip the payment ID and click send payment and there you go transaction is successful so it does give us a transaction ID here and let's go ahead and copy that because step number three here is to verify the pending transaction on the block explorer and the block explorer we're going to use for this video is MoneroBlocks.info and I'll show you what that looks like. It looks like this. It is a secure website. You can tell by this green padlock up here and what we can do is in the search we're going to paste in that transaction ID and it says, whoops, looks like something went wrong. So that just tells me that it has not went through yet and I just have to be patient. So what I'm gonna do is have to refresh this until it shows up. So it's not gonna go through yet. I'm gonna be patient and wait maybe a few minutes for that to go through and then check on it again. And the reason we're doing that is to verify that it's a pending transaction on the Block Explorer. So let's wait for that. I'll try it one more time and it actually goes through this time. Great. So the input right here says one, and this looks like the transaction history here. And Monero is known for their privacy, so they keep the total output confidential, but it does say that a transaction went through, so that's good. The way to verify that is to do step number four here, which is to receive the Monero. And we're gonna have to do part A here, which is to check the My Monero wallet to confirm that we received the test transaction. So let's go back to the My Monero here. And I'm actually gonna log out of my second account here. 
and I'm gonna log back in into my first account. Again, get the password from the password manager and enter it into here. And you'll see that my account now is receiving the test transaction in red right here. So we're gonna go ahead and be patient for that before we send the next transaction, which will be the full amount. And that will be step number five, which is receive the rest of the Monero to the My Monero wallet. And we're gonna have to confirm to the sender that we receive the test transaction. I could actually tell them right now that I received it because it's pending right here and it's just confirming. However, for this My Monero wallet, I'm actually gonna have to wait because it wants me to do one transaction at a time. So before I send the next one, I'm going to wait for this one. As soon as that's done, I'm gonna come back to the video. It looks like the test transaction just went through and let's go ahead and verify that by clicking on this transaction ID here and copying that and pasting that into the block explorer. And if I search that, something pops up and it looks like it went through. So the total output is confidential, but it does show up a transaction, which is this input. So great, let's go ahead and do step number five here, which is to receive the rest of the Monero to the My Monero wallet. And we're gonna have to confirm to the sender that you receive the test transaction. So since I sent it to myself, I know that I received it. However, if you're expecting it from another person, you're gonna have to tell them that you received the test transaction and tell them to send the rest of the amount now. And that's how you do step number five here. So I'll show you what the process looks one more time. So again, this is my second account. So I'm gonna have to log out and log back in into my first account. And the way to do that is to get the address one more time. So this is my first account. And what I'm going to do is copy and paste this address. And what I'm going to do now is log out of here and then log back in. And I'm going to log in into my second account and go inside there. You'll see that I have a balance of 0.94 Monero. And what I'm going to do now is send and what I'm going to do is show you what it looks like on the sender side. So I'm going to paste in my address from my first account. And the amount that I'm going to send is $98, which is 0.862 Monero. And I'll enter that into here. And I'll skip the payment ID and click send payment. And it looks like the transaction is successful. So this is the transaction ID. I can copy and paste that and enter that into the block explorer here and click enter. However, it's still pending. So I'm going to refresh that and wait for that to process. And then I'll come back to the video. Okay, and we're back. It looks like the last transaction went through. The way we could verify that is by looking at the transaction ID, which is this one. I'm going to copy and paste that into the block explorer here. And then what I'm going to do is search that into the block explorer. And as you can see, a transaction does pull up and it says that there's two inputs, which means it received the second transaction. Monero is known for their privacy, so it does not tell you the amount, but the way we could verify that is by checking on the wallet. So what I'm gonna do here is log out of my second account and then I'm going to log in into my first one and then check out the balance. But if I look at the transaction history here, there's 0.86 Monero that just got received. And it looks like my total balance now is 1.3 Monero. So that's great. That means it worked. And that's step number five, receive the rest of the Monero. And that about concludes this video. In this video, I am not talking about how to backup, protect, or even update the wallet. I just wanted to show you how to receive Monero using your My Monero wallet. And that concludes this video. If you enjoy watching blockchain tutorials like this, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You could learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint, and you could get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. Go ahead and check out the display address here on the screen or check out the link below. And you could also follow our cryptocurrency market team on Twitter. You could find my handle at Denny Lovejoy 
And you can find my crypto mentors, Taizen and LeonFu.com at HeyTaizen and LeonCFu. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, send them to me on Twitter. Thanks again. Have a terrific day. And I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.